What is up everyone? Welcome to a brand new episode Australian Elite Qualifier sorry Australian Elite and Elite Qualifier as well as the Australian Twitter League. We're going to be analyzing all of that looking out how the managers did in game week 6 and looking at what we can take towards game week 7 and whether we can look at some of the transfers they have made, look at some of the moves they've done and maybe look to see if we can improve our game style, our play style um, for game week 7. So if you are new, welcome. My name is Ryan. Welcome to the Football Chat Box. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and let's get in to the video. All right, let's get started. So, first of all, league tables. We got the Australian Twitter League on the left, the Elite League in the middle, and the Qualifier League on your right. On the Twitter League, Espen um, was top so far, 423 points. Damon and Seb in second and third. Manager of the game weeks, number two, Darren and Mitchell, um, both on 74 points. So, well done to them. 74 points. You must definitely had Tony uh, and... Oh, maybe we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but pretty congrats, like congrats to them. Um, Elite League Angus on top, Donald in second, and my your your truly in third. Um, and manager of the game week Jay Barrett in uh manager of the game week Jay Barrett with sixty seven points. Um, so that's also another really good game week. Now qualifier league. Damon on top, followed by Lincoln and Tom in second and third. My co-host uh, of the Football Chat Box uh, podcast um, for the FPL podcast is Rushant, who got the manager of the game week. And he had Tony captain. So congrats to him as well for getting manager of the game week in the Elite Qualifier League. Now, let's move on to the highlights. All right, so like we mentioned, we kind of showed the manager of the game weeks, but the couple for the highlights for each section. In terms of falls, Tian didn't have the best of weeks, but I'm sure he'll jump back again and bounce back from it. Um, in terms of best transfers this week, Paul, 17 net points. I wonder what move you made, my friend, uh, to get 17 points from the transfers. In terms of worst, ah, Mark lost 15. That doesn't sound good. Um, most transfers this season has been Justin team value Ross 101.9 pretty good team value to be honest uh, James I don't know what happened there I need to check on that something's gone wrong I need to probably check with uh, Mark from Premier Fantasy Tools um, and then best all time rank is apparently Mark um, I don't know if we've, I think best all time rank is probably your overall achievement I'm not really sure to be honest um, manager of the week for the elite qualifier, Rushant. Uh, biggest fall was Robo. He fell eight places. But Chris um, got the best transfers of the week with 12 net points. And Danny with 15, minus 15. Uh, so many minus 15s and minus 16 as well. I wonder what the moves were. Um, probably Tony out. Most likely a Tony out. Uh, most transfers this season, Ben with nine transfers. Uh, least transfers was Lawrence. And obviously, best team value, call, calm, and lowest team value again. I think there's something wrong there. Um, and in terms of Twitter League, Darren, manager of the week. Um, Sega Panchal, 25 spots down. And Williams, William got 16 net points. So congrats to him. Z Z Zama lost 16 points. Now, I don't know if that's also... Is that Tony? Could be Tony or it could be, it could be even Rashford in that specific case. Um... And then obviously you have um, Luke who's made six transfers and David with two transfers. Andrew though, 102.2, same with Colm. Um, in terms of team value, that's pretty good team value. Let's move on to the template. Now this template, since there was no video last week, right? This template is from Game Week 3. Um, so you kind of see a very strong bigger the back in on most of these templates. You have your decently... You have actually three strikers in these templates. So the templates were already favoring three strikers in most of this. Um, and you have a decent midfield. You got the likes of Mount, uh, Luis Diaz. You have a couple of Netos here, Sakas. So we'll see how it is now after game week six has been done. Now, goalkeeper hasn't really changed too much from both sides when you just pick it through. 
bigger the back is still somewhat bigger the back but there is trippier now in a lot of the lot of the teams every every league has trippier right now uh, which wasn't common in the last three game weeks before trend cancel james all stay the same but their ownership numbers did see a hit especially dries james who got subbed out quite a lot or transferred out quite a lot so his ownership numbers are a downgrade um nico williams is in here but then that could also be due to the fact that the guy got played a lot this week uh for the bournemouth game so he's also really high up there in terms of midfield now you got sala you got martinelli you got luis diaz but you see pascal gross entering the um templates and then you got a couple differentials in the twitter league and the qualifier oh i got the twitter league here for the template my bad let me go and fix that all right um i just realized i had the twitter league before instead of the australian elite but it's basically almost the same thing um again now back to midfield you see gross in the midfield entering the midfield as well as gundogan in both elite and the elite qualifier now i wonder if gundogan will drop um we'll have to wait and see luis diaz also his numbers have dropped quite a bit uh but in the twitter league you have harrison and gross as well so interesting to that interesting to see that as well you got harrison um strikers pretty much the same but tony's numbers are very low so anyone who owned tony congrats well done to you um but harlan's numbers really high jesus's numbers also really high will we see a drop in terms of jesus we'll have to wait and see he's one of the most sold players this week as well um so we'll see whether gabriel jesus's numbers do drop in the template as well but interesting <coughs> pascal gross is up there we'll see if any other midfielders drop or would there be any new strikers making their way uh maybe a mitrovic we'll have to wait and see now captaincy fully harlan like a lot of harlan believers um but there are still a couple who keep faith in sala now we got sala three captaincies in the elite league uh five in the qualifier and five in the twitter league uh, we got one tony captaincy in the qualifier which is my co-host rushant and he's the same thing in the twitter league as well that's him um kane i'm not really sure who was it and gundogan also captain very interesting choice there uh but harlan the majority captain now this coming week is going to be more interesting because i think harlan will still be the most captain but i think now there is a bit more it's a, it's not as easy as it was in the couple the, the two game weeks before the two game weeks before city were playing much more weaker opposition now they're going to be playing spurs who are defensively strong so we'll have to see whether harlan is going to have like this majority share of captaincy but i think all of that is going to be dependent on what happens in the games in europe so all of that we'll have to first see how liverpool play uh, thiago is back so we'll have to see whether he gets some minutes in uh, champions league if he doesn't then maybe let's see whether the club says anything about it for the weekend because he makes a difference to improve liverpool's play and could also mean that sala improves as well so we'll have to wait and see with regards to that harlan we kind of have to see how many minutes he gets i don't think he'll get too many minutes in champions league but he will probably play full 90 maybe or even 70 minutes depending on how city are in terms of scoreline against spurs so we'll have to wait and see with regards to that but this is how the captaincy is for this game week now transfers elite league a lot of transfers in in terms of trippier james and pascal gross a lot of managers bringing back james i if i done it last week i would have maybe seen a lot, lot of james out but people bringing james back in um in terms of transfers out perisic and rodrigo the two main ones and robertson as well so a couple ones escaped from robertson um you got your couple of your city players going out arsenal someone got sancho out uh, kukurela james or chelsea the faith in chelsea is kind of going out but anyways those are your couple transfers out and transfers in um can i see anyone from the transfers out actually making it back in probably tony there was one tony there so maybe tony comes back in you never know um elite qualifier bit more spread quite a bit more like no standouts except for trippier and pascal gross to be honest who's in there are a couple isaacs that are in which is very interesting and also two mitrovic and two zaha so um that is interesting to see because you can see mitrovic isaac third striker slot we'll have to wait and see so a couple people have bought them in we'll see how they do very interested to see mitrovic and isaac as well i think they are on my watch list in terms of third striker spot we'll see how they do in transfers out rodrigo kind of expected ramsdale couple managers transferred out ramsdale probably before the 
because of the uncertainty of his starts and all and also i kind of kind of makes sense that i mean if you're getting rid of ramsdale okay because he's not delivering the same amount of points but again we'll have to see in terms of the goalkeepers that seem to have come in it's nick pope and henderson for those ramsdale transfers so i can understand the pope the henderson i'm not really sure cuz forest are probably one of the worst teams defensively right now and they're probably going to get relegated but yeah um in terms of twitter league trippier quite in uh, pascal gross and a couple mccallisters you need to tell me the lottery numbers mccallister in uh, trossard sanchez rich james so quite a bit in terms of the twitter league in terms of activity five nico williams so a lot of people freeing up money from the bench as uh, for freeing up money from the defense to bring in nico williams in terms of transfers out kind of expected with rodrigo and perisic and then obviously you got a whole lot of other players just been transferred out so that's the twitter league let's move in to looking at the teams shall we all right australian elite angus donald and myself on top 3 so let's look at angus's team and donald's and as well as mine um so Angus has got Cancelo, Cucurella, Trent, James and Nico Williams followed by Martinelli, Pascal Gross, Sala, Haaland and Jesus very similar oh very big at the back team I'll have to see whether he's still continuing faith with the double Chelsea defense we'll wait and see um Edison in goal which is not too bad I think to be honest if you're trying to get double city defense it's probably better getting Edison than getting two city defenders um and Haaland captaincy in terms of moves he does I wonder what he'll do. I can't really see. I think I'd probably look towards maybe a Chelsea downgrade to maybe what, like Cucurella to a Trippier maybe. I'm not really sure. Or even Cucurella to someone 4.5 if you wanted to. Again, it depends on like wild card and all of that. Um so that's something to consider. Um Donal 38 points not the best of times, not the best game week, but that was the case for a lot of us. um the defense is bigger the back not bigger the back but he's got the main three uh, and dunk and nico williams and midfield which was this was not a great week for the template wasn't it and then harlan probably the one who gave most of the points to be honest uh but this wasn't a great week for the template let's move on to my team 47 got trippier pascal gross and harlan who delivered and everyone else was just bad except for Nico Williams he probably gave me kind of what i expected i was thinking of a clean sheet he was 2 points short of that uh but the rest all just one pointers and just no returns so those are the teams from the top 3 in the elite um it's really tight up here right on the top is pretty tight so a lot of people can overtake like it just takes one player to like jump on top to first place so it's a tight league in the elite, elite league let's look at the elite qualifier now elite qualifier Damon on top followed by Lincoln and Tom let's have a look and see how they have done okay this is Damon's team 55 points pretty good pretty good Rashford ooh congrats congrats for keeping the faith uh double city defense Arsenal in terms of Ramsdale got your Trent Cocorella Nico Williams um pretty strong team i think he has Rodrigo that's probably a move he'll be looking to make uh, a change in um interesting that he kept him but you can see why so probably a change there or even maybe a striker spot apart from that um walker i think you'll have to make a move on walker as well and you didn't make a transfer which means you have two free transfers to do so i will be expecting walker will most likely be leaving and then probably rodrigo even you never know uh because pep did come out and say that the chances of them playing this week was low i think if i'm not mistaken so walker also looks like he'll be making his way um in terms of lincoln um pretty decent 442 formation um you've got a pretty again a template oh trippy on the bench that was unlucky uh, i would have probably started trippy but looking at who you would have dropped yeah i can see why you, like if i if i was to drop to be honest i would have dropped nico williams for trippy but that would have been like a four point difference like i probably would have started everyone else you started here to be honest uh but good team um it'll be very interesting to see what he does in terms of changes if he's thinking of any changes um 
especially with the template and all changing i don't know what's the plan let's see let's see will be interesting to see what moves happen next week uh and then the final team which is tom um five at the back with three in midfield the, ex- us- the the usual front five attacking players that you see in most teams um and also five at the back with trippier and harlan being the key contributors along with nico williams uh so that's the top 3 from the elite um qualifier and now the twitter league let's look at espen damon and seb who are the top 3 okay espen's team you got your big at the back this is really big at the back uh and your typical five you basically this is your template five I'm just going to call them the template 5 from now onwards because right or oh, at least for now they're the template 5 we'll have to wait and see on Luis Diaz um cuz I think a lot of people will eventually move off him but we'll see what happens with regards to that um in terms of defense again depends on wild card two free transfers so a lot of things can change in this team um so I'll be looking forward to that I think there are a couple moves you can make with regards to your defense that you could probably lower value and maybe look into either increasing your midfield or your forward line as well that's probably something that I would think about uh in terms of Damon doing really well uh 55 points decently big at the back and your template 5 um and Ramsdale in goal again Walker and Rodrigo um We've already seen Damon's team, haven't we? So he has two free transfers. So let's see what he does. And then obviously you got Seb, who has again the Walker issue. Uh, so something to consider as well for him. Um, but the rest are your same. Your you got your template five and Aronson, who is also a very interesting pick. Let's see how he does this week. Saliba bench. I'm assuming Saliba will come in for Walker. Um, so then the question is, do you want to make that move or do you want to just save the transfer? that's a possibility as well so yeah we'll see how he does um having said all of that so those are the leagues now one more thing i need to give a shout out for is the managers of the months for august in terms of the elite league manager of the month angus congratulations 362 points um from august followed by lincoln who made 376 points in august and Espen who had 388 points in August. Uh so congrats to all three of you all. Um the next game week is ending on Tuesday. So if you guys want to appear on the show for next week, um m- or maybe we record on a Monday. So if you would be interested, make sure to send me a message on Twitter at @ryan_ms28 for the managers of the month uh who came first. If you're interested send me a message and if you're available on a monday to record let me know uh, and we'll get you on and just discuss how your season has gone so let me know what you guys think about it thank you all for watching if you are new make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you come all the way up to this point and how did you do in game mix 6 and are you ready for game mix 7 let me know in the comments thank you all for watching until next time yeah Chase leading us and love is